students today we are going to learn internal and external bisectors of an angle of a triangle so first theorem is the internal bisector of an angle of a triangle divides the opposite side internally in the ratio of the sides containing the angle means here we have to prove that here ad is the bisector of an angle a so we have to show that this bd upon dc this ad divides bc in the ratio bd by dc so bd upon dc is equal to ab upon ac so here we have to prove this bd upon dc this is ad is the angle bisector so these two angles are equal Suppose if we give name here one and two, then angle one and angle two are equal. So we have here given that triangle ABC in which AD is bisector of an angle. A. Okay, so in triangle ABC, AD is the bisector of an angle A. We have to prove this BD by DC is equal to AB by AC. Now here we have to construct that. So construction is there. We have to draw CE parallel to AD. So we have to draw like this way. So this CE we have to draw parallel. to ad and we have to extend this so we have to write construction like this way draw ce parallel to da which meets or which intersects ab produced in e Which intersects AB produced in E. Now we have to prove this ratio. BD by DC is equal to AB by AC. Is so proof. Now here we have to draw here CE parallel to DA. Okay. So first we have to write CE parallel to DA. Now we give this. Angles name as a three and four. Now C E parallel to A D. Therefore, angle two is equal to angle three because here A D and C are parallel lines and A C is a transversal. Therefore, angle two and angle three are alternate angles. So here we can write reason alternate angles. Next. Angle one is equal to angle four. These two makes pair of corresponding angles one and four because AD parallel to CE and A is a transversal. Then angle one is equal to angle four corresponding angles. And we know that. AD is a bisector. Therefore, angle one and angle two are equal. So here, angle one is equal to angle two because AD is bisector of angle A. Now, from this three, we can write here angle one is equal to angle two. So, angle one is equal to angle four. Angle two is equal to angle three. But this angle one and angle two are equal. Therefore, angle three and angle four are equal. So we can write. Therefore, angle three is equal to angle four. Now, if we consider triangle ACE and angle three and angle four are equal. So if these base angles are equal, then opposite sides also equal. Therefore, AC and AE are equal. So in triangle ACE. If angle three is equal to angle four, then AC is equal to AE. 
now this if we consider triangle ebc ad parallel to c then by basic proportionality theorem we can write bd by dc is equal to ba by a so first we have to write this in triangle bce ad parallel to ce therefore bd by dc is equal to ba by a this we have by using so ba by a this result we will get by using basic proportionality theorem so by bpd theorem okay now here a is equal to ac so instead of this a we have to replace this a by ac so bd by dc is equal to ba by ac because a is equal to ac now this we can write only bd by dc is equal to ab by ac so we will get required result so hence the proof so here see once again the internal bisector of an angle of triangle divides the opposite side so here angle a ad is the bisector of angle a this ad divides the opposite side internally in the ratio that is bd by dc of the sides containing the angle so a contain in the two sides that is ab and ac so bd by dc is equal to ab by ac so we proved this here bd by dc is equal to ab by ac okay now we will see converse of this theorem next theorem is this is a converse of theorem first in a triangle abc if b is a point on bc such that bd by dc is equal to ab by ac we have to prove that ad is a bisector so ad is bisector means we have to show that these two angles are equal it is angle 1 is equal to angle 2 so here first we have to write what we have to prove so we have to prove that ad is bisector of angle a then we have to write what is given so in triangle abc d is a point on bc such that bd by dc is equal to ab by ac now we have to construct here construction is there so construction that is we have to produce this ba to point e such that this a and ac are equal so we have to construct in this way so we have to write construction like this way produce ba to e such that ae is equal to ac now we have to give this angle angle c is a 3 and this angle is a 4 now we have to prove this ad is a bisector of angle a so first we have to start from this construction here a is equal to ac so angle 3 is equal to angle 4 okay now we have to this we have this given that is bd by dc is equal to ab by dc so we have to write this bd by dc is equal to ab by ac now a ac and a are equal so instead of this ac we have to put ae so bd by dc is equal to ab by ae now see here bd by dc is equal to ab by ae so if we consider this whole triangle ebc then bd by dc is equal to ba by ae so by converse of bpd we can write ad parallel to c so 
ए ट्रायंगल बी सी ई बी डी बाय बी सी इज इक्वल टू ए बी बाय ए सो बाय कॉन्वर्स ऑफ ए बी डी कॉन्वर्स ऑफ बी पी डी वी कैन राइट This AD parallel to CE. So there we can write AD parallel to CE. Now, if AD parallel to CE, then angle one is equal to angle four. That is corresponding angle. This four corresponding angle, angle one and angle four, angle two and angle three. These are alternate angles. So angle two is equal to angle three. Alternate angles. So here, angle three and angle four are equal, and this angle one is equal to angle four. Angle two is equal to angle three. But angle three and angle four are equal. Therefore, so we can write first, but angle three is equal to angle four. Here we can give here equation one. So from one. So angle three is equal to angle four. Therefore, angle one is equal to angle two. Now, if angle one and angle two are equal, then AD is a bisector of angle A. So in triangle ABC, angle one is equal to angle two. Therefore, we can write AD is bisector of angle. This is the proof of this theorem. Now we will see external bisector of an angle of a triangle. Now here, this theorem is the external bisector of an angle of a triangle divides the opposite side externally in the ratio of the sides containing the angle. Now ABC is a triangle, and here, if we extend this to point K, suppose. Then this KAC is an external angle or exterior angle of this triangle, and if we draw bisector of this angle, so suppose this AD is a bisector, and if we join this, so this AD bisects or divides opposite sides externally in the ratio. Means BD by CD is equal to. We have to show that AB by AC. So we have to prove this. BD by CD, BD by CD is equal to AB by AC. External divide means suppose if this is a line segment AB, and if point P divides AB externally, so P is here externally. So P divides AB means this ratio is PB by AB. So similarly here, this AD divides BC externally. So BD by CD ratio that we have to show that it is equal to AB by AC. So A1 here, here AD is a bisector of exterior angle A. Angle three and angle four. So draw CE parallel to AD. 
Now here C parallel to VD. Now we have to prove this. We have to prove this. VD by CD is equal to AB by AC. Now here C parallel to VD. So if C parallel to VD, then angle two and angle four are equal, which make pair of corresponding angle. Angle two and angle four. So angle two. Is equal to angle four corresponding angles. Similarly, here angle one and angle three, which makes pair of alternate angles. So angle one is equal to angle three alternate angles. But here angle one and angle two are equal because AD is bisector. So here right, but Angle one is equal to angle two since AD is bisector of angle A. So AD is bisector of angle A. Therefore, angle one and angle two are equal. Therefore, if angle one and angle two are equal, then angle three and angle four are also equal. Therefore, angle three is equal to angle four. So, if we take in triangle ABC, angle three and angle four are equal. Then opposite side of this angle also equal. That is, A is equal to AC. So, in triangle ABC, if angle three is equal to angle four, then AE is equal to AC. Now, if we consider this triangle, triangle ABD, and in that C parallel to AD. Okay, so in triangle ABD, C parallel to AD. So here we have used corollary of basic proportionality theorem. If C parallel to AD, then BD by CD is equal to we can write BA by E. So BD by CD. Is equal to B A by A E. B D by C D is equal to B A by A E. So this is by using corollary of B P T. Okay. So B D by C D is equal to B D by C D is equal to B A by A E. Now here we know that A E is equal to A C. A is equal to AC. So instead of this A, we can write this as a AC. So BD by CD is equal to BA by AC. Okay, since A is equal to AC, so this we can write again. BD by CD is equal to AB by AC. So this is hence the proof. So BD by CD is equal to AB by AC. Okay, so this is external bisector of an triangle of an angle of a triangle. Divides the opposite side externally in the ratio of the sides containing the angle. So here A, B, and C two sides are there, and this exterior angle containing these two sides, and we have to show that B D by C D is equal to A B by C. So here we show here B D by C D is equal to A B by C. Now we will see example based on this internal and external bisectors of an angle of a triangle. So here first example is in figure AD is the bisector of angle A. If BD is equal to four centimeter, so this is four centimeter given. BC is equal to three centimeter, so this is three centimeter. AB is equal to six centimeter. We have to find AC. So here. AD is bisector. So first we have to write AD is bisector of an angle A. So AD is bisector of an angle A. So by using internal bisector theorem, we can write BD by DC is equal to AB by AC. 
So here we can let by using internal bisector theorem. So BD by DC is equal to AB by AC. Now we have to put only values. So BD is 4 cm. So 4 divided by DC is 3 is equal to AB is 6 divided by AC. Now we have to find AC. So cross multiply this 4 AC is equal to 3 into 6. That is 4 AC is equal to 18. So AC is equal to 18. So AC is equal to 18 by 4. So if we simplify this, AC is equal to 9 by 2. That is AC is equal to 4.5 centimeter. So here we have to use internal bisector theorem. So this type of example in exam they can ask for two marks. It is bisector and three quantities are given. That is here BD, DC given, AB is given and we have to find AC. So we have to use internal bisector theorem and we have to find or we can find this AC as a 4.5 cm. Okay, similarly solve, we can solve next example here in figure 8 is bisector of angle A, AB 10 given. So this is 10 cm. So it will be 10 cm given, AC 14 cm given. And total BC is given 6 cm. So this is 6 cm. And we have to find BD and DC. So in this case, if we suppose that BD is x cm, then DC is equal to 6 minus x because total BC is 6 cm therefore if we suppose that BD is x and DC is equal to 6 minus x so here again we have to write AD is bisector of angle A so by using internal bisector theorem BD by CD is equal to AB by AC so by using internal bisector theorem so BD by CD that is BD is X so we have to put this value X divided by CD is 6 minus X is equal to AB that is 10 and AC is equal to 14 so first we can reduce this so X upon 6 minus X is equal to 5 by 7 now cross multiply 7x is equal to 5 into 6 minus x so 7x is equal to 30 minus 5x so if we, replace, uh, if we shift this side 7x plus 5x is equal to 30 so 12x is equal to 30 so x is equal to 30 by 12 so if we simplify this 12 to the 24, 6 element, 12 by 1. So x is equal to 2.5 cm. So x means here BD. That is BD is equal to 2.5 cm. And if we have to find CD, then CD is equal to BC minus BD. That is 6 minus 2.5. That is equal to 3.5 cm. So CD is equal to 